Nice fish, sir. Thank you. It just has to do with it's not really connected. So they're calling, as far as I saw, they're calling for it to be 15 to 20 mile an hour winds with the seas uh, three to five feet nature, as to what I've seen. Now, the weather is unpredictable, so uh, I don't think we're going to have a problem with it. The boat can certainly handle it, and it uh, doesn't look like we're going to have an issue with it. And I don't, I can't guarantee you anything about it, but quite often as an approaching storm is coming, fish turn on pretty good. So hopefully that's what's going to happen. But uh, I, I go on most of the weekend trips. Some of you may have heard this voice, seen me on the video a little bit. I do a lot of the videos. Bob, who goes with us and does a lot of the camera work, is not going to be going on this trip. So basically I'm going to be doing all of that. So first of all, where are you coming from? We're from St. Louis. St. Louis. Saint Louis. All right. Home of the... Go on, man. Go on. It's kind of sweaty. World champion. <laughs> Stanley Cup champions. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> he got one over there. Right. Don't pull it up any higher. I'm going to have to change it to a different channel. Well, is this y'all's first time out here? Fourth. This is our fourth, fourth time. Fourth. And you've been on the 39 hour before. Yep. All right, so yep. you know what to expect. Yep. So y'all came down here in spite of the storm, so to speak. Yeah. We're well, not scared. I hear you. Sure. <laughs> well, I uh, hope you catch them up. I right, hope so, too. We and will. congratulations on your Stanley Cup. Oh, thank, thank you. you. It means a lot. Pelicans waiting for a handout. They're lined up. All right, we're probably going to sign off now. We'll walk back through here. Now, there's a whole crowd of people from St. Louis in there. You would know. <laughs> when you say St. Louis, there's a whole family in here from St. Louis, and they got St. Louis, uh, the blues tattooed all over in 2019 championship. They got tattoos and they show them. <laughs> here we go. Some people. A couple of private vessels coming in. I'll ask them whether they like this or like that. Or like that. How big? <laughs> I like to ask them how big were they. With the red fin, you got scissors, then you cut him up just like this. This one's thawed out and old. You want to use one that's more frozen. You want to get like a dozen of them at a time, right? We get more efficient and cut them up. If they're small, you don't cut the belly out of them. You just cut the head and the tail off of them. If they're bigger, cut the belly off of them. Make a plug out of it. And what you want to do is just get like a dozen of them per person. You don't need a bunch of them at a time unless you're grinding your bait or any of you guys grinding bait on the way out. So what you want to do to brine bait, John Martin will tell you exactly. We already got it going. All right, you got it. Yeah. All right. Don't ice them too much or your bait's just going to be frozen. Got it. This is, this All right. Is just enough ice. But so if you're not brining your bait, you want to grab like a dozen of these at a time and use while they're frozen. So what to do? Cut him up like this, head, tail, belly. Generally, if, like I said, if they're small, you can just cut the head off of them and tail off of them and go from there. Uh, it's not coming out. So uh, what you want to do is hook them the same way every time, no matter what though. I hook it with the bottom hook right there and the top hook and the tail. Now, it's important to get the top hook close to the backbone Here we are. What do you expect tonight, man? Uh, it's a little rough out here, but uh, I think we'll get through it. These fish like the bumpy weather sometimes. So yeah. we'll see how it goes. Shake them up a little bit. Well, good morning, everyone. Morning. 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 You move this out your way. You're fine, man. Just getting on up here to my spot. It's a little rocking and rolling. I've already been given a treat by I was up front and got a wave right in the rear end, so that's a good way to wake up. Oh, here's a very nice mango. You just catch that one, ma'am? I did. I just caught it. All right. Beautiful fish. Yeah, I'm excited. Good job. 
You want to try to hold him up for a picture? Sure. We got the omnipresent Jason stringing up fish. Got some uh, grunts, eh? Look at that. Yeah, gray nice. snapper. Great. Yeah, there's some grays. Pretty cool. Another nice mango up here. How's St. Louis doing? Good, good. All right. Nice fish, sir. Thank you. Just trying to get a little shot out. There you go. Good job. Bee liner coming up. Let's open this up a minute. You can see they've iced some down. There's some decent mangoes in there. Little boats, you can take as well. Little gals, you can take as well. Sometimes us fishermen. And here's the water. See, here's what I was. Now I got spray on the camera. How about that? We're on our first kind of official jack stop. All I've seen is a few shorts. I caught a, a short and I just got through catching a pretty good sized red snapper. All of which, of course, I had to throw back. But I hear we have some keepers towards the back here. So I'm gonna go see if that is in fact true. Got one here that's a keeper, just barely. That is about as small as you can keep right there. Good job, though. You caught that one? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Here's a little bit bigger one. Quite a bit bigger one. Here's another one. Oh my gosh, our front line. Eagle slack up there, guys. It got color. It was color, yeah, I saw it. Yeah, I saw color too. Damn it, I didn't see yeah. color. <laughs> Just watch that. Just keep your slack, keep your braid slack. So in case it swims across First that braid. Keep reeling, keep reeling, keep reeling. Just you reel. Watch out, lady, on top of the flat line. Okay, there he goes. Oh, shit. What, 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 go? Quite a few tangles, but we got the fish in. Good job, Will. Good job, sir. Yeah, that, we had to work for that. Oh, that nice. Cool <laughs> nice. Nice. Yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> we got color on it. There he is, the little guy. Boy, they fight pretty good on that tackle. Right? Yeah, all right. Yeah. On. He looks really cool doing it too with that hat on. That <laughs> Thought we got some color. Fucking AJ. Got a jack here that might be legal. I think he's probably he's short. On the deck. He's on the deck, John. I think he's, he's on the deck. Yeah. I think he's probably short. 
Yeah, he's probably going to be just short, but we'll measure his ass. Yeah, man. That's so nice. Believe me, I'm wishing he'd be. <laughs> Come on, man! Wow! That's what we wanted. Yes, sir. Nice fish, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh. And all the madness. I was gentle. You know, I spit on it before I hit it. Thank you. I appreciate nice. that. Look at that. He fucked you up down there. Yes. Uh, well, good morning. We're back. Back here at John's Pass. I tell you, the flat seas here certainly belie what it was uh, when we were out there. It was pretty bumpy most of the trip. It was a pretty rough ride home uh, until probably about the last three hours of it. And it seemed like everything laid down. Maybe that storm has sucked all the energy up towards the east coast. I'm not sure. We don't know exactly what's going on with it yet. But uh, we're coming back. We had a overall decent trip. The boat did fairly well. Individually, some of us didn't do so well, including yours truly. But the mango bite the first night was, was pretty fair, pretty solid. It was really tough conditions, especially if you were toward the bow. But uh, the bite during the day was sporadic, I would say at best. There, there were a few good spots where we got some decent amber jacks although I did not actually catch a keeper I caught about six or seven jacks but they were all just short to kind of sum up my trip I caught two gags during the day both on two different stops both of them were short by a couple of inches now the odds of getting a short gag out here aren't good in general because very rarely do we catch short gags we, if we get a gag it's usually a keeper but to get two of them on two separate stops kind of shows that uh, it just wasn't my day. But there were a few gags caught. There were some nice red, a couple of nice red grouper caught. So overall, considering the conditions, considering that probably very few boats were even out here because of the threat of storm, uh, we did okay. So we're coming into John's Pass now. That's the famous John's Pass Bridge, as you see. The more lit up side with the red light there is, uh, that is the Madeira Beach side, home of Hubbard's Marina. And of course the other side is the Treasure Island side. I think we skip a week, we don't go next weekend and then we go after that, I do believe. I think it's the third hit. And he'll be out here in just a second. predict that here he comes and there he is and right on cue good morning captain brian we're going to film you backing this bad boy down this gal down there you go there's the disturbed controls he's activated them now and he will professionally back us on in there i haven't hit anything all week <laughs> well it is sunday morning Oh yeah, the pirate ship's been hid. Maybe it's out looking for treasure. You're watching Captain Brian on the Florida Fisherman 2. Backing this jewel right into the slip here. Almost like he's done it a time or two. Man. Here we have the famous Gino. How you doing, man? Good. How are you this morning? Good. You going out on the all day? Doing the all day. All right. Yeah. Catch him up, brother. Mango snapper, red grouper, whatever's biting today. Hopefully they're chewing before this uh, low pressure from the, uh, the storm coming across. That's, what, that's a good hope. Yeah. It often is that way, man. Well, good luck to you. All right. Thank you very much. Here we have the guys that always catch fish. FWC, a bucket's buckets full of fish. Sorry, we didn't catch them. We're doing ah, science on them. I know. 
We got some scientists here. Do you have any grouper this time? I think there, I didn't know, but there's uh, one gag and one big red grouper. I caught, believe it or not, I caught two gags. Both of them were about 18 inches, which is rare to get them that small, let alone two on two separate stops. I'm like, what do I got to do, you know? What about the scan? Uh, if they are, there may be a few. I caught one about that long. Man. I'm not kidding. Him back nicely. I did. I, I, he went down. Good, good. I caught a Grazeby and a Scamp on a chicken rig at the same time, and the Grazeby was bigger than the Scamp. Wow. Uh, but these guys do critical research to determine that basically the health of the fish stocks out there, among other things. Take the ear, ear bones out, right? Totally. Ear stone. That tells that could tell how old the fish is by yes. that, right? Yes. Cool. Making me a movie star. Oh yeah. I, there's a lot of there's a call for putting rocks in glass tubes like that. <laughs> it's a skill. <laughs> yeah, it's a real skill, man. Could be a real scientist then make the big money for about a month or two till you get thrown away. Appreciate you guys. Yeah, no problem. Go down here and watch them throw a little bit of the fish out. From St. Louis, Missouri. Yeah! All right. <laughs> Put you in the fishing report. So tell me your name. Say, Judy Morazowitz. Say that again. Judy Morazowitz. From St. Louis. From St. Louis. All right. This is your husband. Rick Morazowitz. Rick and your son. Eric Morazowitz. Eric. All right. A gentleman wants a, a gentleman wants a kingfish weight. Can I wear this? Of course, you can weigh anything you want. Bring your whole string around. Can we weigh it? Oh, can I get weighed? No. Yeah, John always thinks it should be the fish and the egg. Yeah, the fish and the fisherman, right? It's a team effort. Yeah, 31. I think that's a good point. 32. Oh, you're right. 31.7. I told you what. That's why I, I said 30 when I first saw not 70 like he was when he came over the rail. <laughs> when he came over the rail, he was... Yeah, Captain Brian, when that fish came over the rail, he was 70 pounds. Well, you know when you put him in the ice and they get cold, they get yeah. cracked, they got smaller. Yeah. Right. Good job, guys. Good job,